Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is a bonus episode of Building the City. Um, it is going to come out, hopefully, on New Year's Day. So, um, if you are watching this, Happy New Year's. And uh, I hope your Christmas celebrations were, um, were fun and safe. And uh, I hope your New Year's Eve was, uh, was fun as well. So, um, anyway, what we are looking at here is a bit of a Christmas present that uh, one of the fellow server members left for me. I checked my email Christmas Eve when I got home from uh, my parents and saw that well, he, he had sent me a message saying, hey, check out the witch farm perimeter. And uh, a lot of progress has been made. So I went and checked it out. And sure enough, just had this sh small little area done um, or left to go. And uh, so I got on. This is uh, actually recorded Christmas morning and knocked this out. And I wanted to record it because uh, I wanted to bring you along for the finishing of the witch farm perimeter so uh so yeah that's what we're doing right now um i'm recording a narration after the fact and i've got this on 4x speed or something like that uh, we'll see what it ends up being uh, as you know, once i finish the uh, mastering the video but you see we've got the two beacons and those really really helped and we've got haste 2 and an efficiency 5 pick. Uh, that stone just uh, melts away. Now, I left one block on purpose so that I could pick it with a silk touch and then name it. Um, and then as I was watching this time lapse last night, not uh, uh, the night before I'm recording this, um, I, didn't, I uh, saw that I had forgotten another block so what I wanted to do is save that block um, it's it's kind of hard to see um, it's kind of high up in the air we'll, we'll see I'll uh, pull it later but uh, it was not actually the last block mined out of the perimeter I pulled another one last night so uh, but uh, we'll just pretend like it was uh, it's a symbolic thing anyway but yeah so so I got on Christmas morning and finished this off um, I'm gonna fill in the hole here There's a little bit of mining to, to do and then we had to clean up so um, I think what we'll do is kind of skip some of this. I don't want to show this it was 13 minutes of, of, uh, of footage so um, I'm actually going to cut some of it out. Well, let's see what do, we, what do we get to? I'm going to figure out what to cut. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out what to cut and then uh, and we'll be back, okay? All right, now we're back in the construction hut. Oh, not for long. Went to get the silk touch pick because it is time to get the last block. That's not actually the last block. There we go. Got that. And now, well, magic happened that beacon is now gone um, so what I'm doing is well yeah I must have the iron must get iron because we don't have enough from our iron farm I just can't leave it there it's just uh, see that on the hermitcraft server and um, and minecraft some of the guys just leave iron boggles my mind all right, so uh, here we are finishing up. Make the water spread there. And uh, pulling out the little walkway that I have made. <laughs> All right, 
take it down the beacon. And there we go. That is um, that is it. So don't need the beacon anymore because everything has been mined out. <laughs> You know, even with haste two, the iron blocks don't get mined easily. Those uh, those take a bit of time. Oh, had a little skip. <laughs> oh, there was a hole down into a cavern, so I lost some of those iron blocks, but who cares, right? We got the iron farm. Alright, now tearing out the bridge. Get rid of some of that stuff. And, uh, skip. Now, I carried a lot of the stuff in the chests, the caving loot and all that um, in that uh, intervening break. This is something that I've been wanting to do, so I made it out of wood at the beginning. We'll see how successful it is, okay? So I got my fire resist potion on. <laughs> I'm burning the, the whole thing up. I ran through a flint and steel. Don't want it to catch onto the perimeter marker. I'll make sure. And what was surprising is um, this fire did not spread like I wanted it to. Notice that didn't I mean, it it didn't even take out the whole thing I was figuring it would take out the whole thing but maybe maybe you have some idea about how to get fire to spread should have used lava I guess it's a little bit better so instead I resort to the axe And then pick up stuff. And now we're back to regular speed. And that is because I'm just taking a look around. There we go. Construction hut is gone. The perimeter is finished. It is covered in water. It's slime proof. We're doing pretty good back in a bit all right ladies and gentlemen we are back now I recorded this once already but um, I did not have record external input selected in fraps and so my microphone did not record I didn't feel like narrating it so here we are again all right uh, I've got the final perimeter block I named it put it in an item frame here and uh, so yeah, that's a good reminder of the effort for clearing out the witch farm perimeter. Um, I may have mentioned in the narration that I am not going to be doing the full caving effort. And uh, let me let me just show you uh, what I want to do instead. I want to take a page from uh, Tango Tech. He put his observation platform up in the sky. Um, and kind of like I've done with the temporary one, but um, yeah, I, I don't want it to. I don't want to have to do all that caving. Maybe eventually we can, but uh, for now, what we're gonna do? Let me go over to the witch farm real quick. Okay, so let me pull up F3, and then you can see what what we're at. Let me. Uh, we are at 140, okay? That is perfect for what we've got right now because the witches drop to, I think, 23 or so. 
and if this was any higher uh, we would run the risk of the witches despawning by the time they got to the drop floor um, and that's why I had moved this down originally it was at 160 um, and we weren't getting the rates that uh, we wanted okay so uh, so yeah um, I moved it down and um, now what I want to do is I want to put it back up to uh, 180 or so and instead of the witches dropping straight below them what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them drop a little bit go into a water stream and then go into an elevator that will then drop them the required 30 or so that they need to drop and then I will have an item elevator going all the way up okay so instead of the drops going down below into the sorting system below they will come up an item elevator and get sorted up top so that's going to be a more permanent structure way up there the other problem currently and I hope this gets fixed soon but there is a bug in Minecraft um, actually two bugs so let me let me just uh, pull up F3 again okay notice here LC that's the loaded chunk count or height um, it says 159 I know it's actually 175 because I've built you know the previous um, platform was at 160 and so that loaded an entire new chunk vertically and that's uh, 175 so right now the client and server don't um, are not in agreement and also um, the uh, Minecraft is not refiguring loaded chunks so eventually what I want to do when this moves up I'm also going to move it out so that it's not above the witch farm or the uh, witch hut proper I want the loaded chunk height to be 79 for the witch hut area and so I will move the platform to back here or so and I need to make sure that light doesn't uh, doesn't get in but that's that's the plans coming up so I we'll have a little control room up there and uh, have all the items up there but that's it for now um, I do hope you enjoyed this bonus episode um, if you really if you did enjoy feel free to give me a thumbs up help me out and if you really enjoyed and want to see more of this feel free to subscribe but uh, I invite your comments, questions, and suggestions. Look forward to hearing from you. And uh, I do thank you for watching. So uh, until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye bye.